Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to select a statement in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, select a statement is used to select the data from database table. So, at your current day, I'm using DW underscore dev database. So, inside database, oh, this is the table. So, at your let's uh, or write one query using select a statement. So, at your select a star from and keep the add your table name. So add here I'm going to use escort and escort dot emp table. So add your select a statement is used to select the data from database or table. So this is the tables. So if you execute this query, let's execute. So add here this is the records. It's a display. So here inside our data to underscore dev database. So this is the table. And if you execute this uh, query, so this query display all the records inside EMP or table. So add your uh, star means that will select all the columns. And here the next way is to uh, check the records. Add here, go right click and here after go to script table. And here you get a uh, create a statement draw. So let's uh, select add here, select here, and you have to new query edit. So this is the query that uh, generated by uh, SQL Server. So add here use dw underscore tab. So currently I'm using dw underscore tab. So if, if uh, someone changes or uh, database or uh, dw to uh, dev to Adam. And if you execute this query, so this query or uh, give or uh, uh, whatever records inside EMP that get. So suppose add here if I'm going to change add here or DWDO to Adam and if I'm going to execute so add here I'm getting the error message or uh, EMP could not recognize. So add here because uh, this query execute because add here. I uh, SQL Server generated this query and here used use so use dw underscore dev so at a given database name here after go and here select this all columns from escort.emp table so this is the things so if you uh, add here if you delete this table then that will keep the error because currently and here, if you change the database or DW dev to add up, so now I am getting the error message. So this all columns could not find so invalid. So that here, or uh, we should use go keyword. So this is the undo operation. So let's use or DW dev. No. Now it's all fine. So add here, if you want to display or uh, EMP number and here salary and dpt number uh, columns so here or uh, just to remove this all parts mzr it's not requ required here i'm going to remove this one and commission not so if you know uh, display only emp number sal and dpt number columns so let's execute so this uh, gives only three columns a record so a star means that give all column records. So if you give add here a star, so that will select all the columns. And here you can provide or some. So if you you can directly give column name as well. so this is the thing. So at your current day I'm uh, working on DW underscore dev. So let's change the database name. Now if you execute that work. So if you want here you can uh, select any columns. So here you can select EMP number, SAM or DPT number. And if you want to or display, combine two tables by using select a statement. So here you can write escort.emp column comma here after escort uh, dot. Next I'm going to use DPT. Now let's execute that one. So see right here, this is so till this one, this is the records of EMP, EMP table and this is the records of 
dpt table so by using this query you can combine or two tables select a start from here you know, or database or ta database table one database table two so this is the next example now here after let's remove this one this is not required let's again execute so if you want to display only at your three this three column records and uh, so if you want to check only this if you want to display this three so at your right e number and here after i'm going to all display e name and here after job so let's execute that one so it's all displaying only three column records that means if you say give to a star a star means asterisk means white card white card means that select all the columns now here after uh, if you want to uh, display at here or uh, let's give at here a star select a star from here so see at your dp number so this is the duplicate record or duplicate rows are there so if you want to you know, display only distinct records or uh, using select a statement so at your right or distinct keyword Yes, T, I, and C, T. Distinct and uh, distinct what I'm going to use deep number. So this word gives only distinct or unique values. So see here, 10, 20, 30. So this gives only distinct. So if you want to combine, so if you want to display a distinct, if you want to display distinct record and here, on uh, two columns so at here i'm going to use this time salary so this will uh, combine two columns and give the distinct value so at here let's write select select a star from so and this is the record and here or uh, it's so uh, displaying or uh, select distinct dp number so see at here dp number is the uh, duplicate at here or uh, salary at here so or uh, this means what so at here or 10 and this this two combined and if, if this two combined that give unique values so this must be unique suppose if we have 10 and here 1300 so it won't display okay so only this two combined or uh, db number and sadly so this is the one distinct and here 10 250 it's one distinct 10 5000 one distinct so suppose if uh, there is a uh, 10 5000 so it will display only once because so I put at a distinct keyword. So this is the use of distinct keyword. Now here after let's see another uh, use of uh, or select a statement. So you want to filter the records. So if you want to display only department at 30 records, so at here or uh, just copy this so or uh, query and you want to paste it and here give uh, select a start from uh, EMP and give where or uh, cross and here or uh, filter record dpt number so i will load only dpt number 30 records so execute okay so see i have only department or uh, dpt number 30 records it's uh, displaying here so if you want to display only 20 so you have to give at here or 20 Now execute it. So see here only department number 20. It's a display. So if you don't if you don't want to display only or DPT number 20. So here you can use not equal to operator. 
So see right here, it's the uh, display deep number 10 and 30 records. And or you can use at here, not equal. So you can give also not equal. So see right here, 10 and 20, 10 and 30 department ID records display. Now the second thing is, so if you execute this query, so see right here, this is the random order. So if you know, or uh, display or uh, records in the de department number wise or uh, ascending or descending order so let's uh, write the code for this one so select here or uh, select a start from emp and here give order by so let's write at here order by and uh, okay, so i'm going to give order by on dp number repeat number now let's execute yeah. so see right here it's now in ascending order so if you now display descending order so right include ds dsc so see right here it's now in descending order so you now see highest salary on this table so first you should or uh, uh, write at here you should use the column and your DES. So this will or display highest to lowest. So this is the highest salary 5000. We are after 3000. We are 3000. So this is the, this is now highest to highest to lowest. So this is the way you can display highest salary first. And here after you know display top five. So if you want to display only our top 5 records from the table, so add here, this is the top 5, so 20, 30, 30, 20, 30. So add here, let's add, write the query, uh, select here after top 5, top 5 is down from escort.emp. Now let's execute here. So see right here 20 30 30 20 30 so this is the way we can uh, display top 5 records from the table you have to use top keyword with you can now display top 10 only right select top 10 here often let's execute right here. so it's a uh, display top 10 so this is the users of uh, uh, select uh, a statement so generally select a statement is to used to uh, select the columns and the uh, display records of the table and uh, you can uh, uh, select a statement used many times in SQL so in upcoming tutorial I will discuss all about this uh, select a statement so this is the overview and simple demonstration why we are using select a statement and where to use and we can do the filter statement we can or uh, display top 10 top 5 records by using select statements and in upcoming video when i used uh, between operator in not in operator and like operator they are also used uh, they are also used of select statement so this is about to select a statement generally select statement is used to select the or column records and whatever the operation required we can do like uh, not equal to or uh, equal to and there are so many operators also there or operator or uh, and operator so now in this video it's over so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now thanks for watching see you next week thank you